Hello, it's your boy uh, here in Berlin, Germany. Third battle, first main event, English speaking battle of the evening. Berlin, one time, where you at? Make some noise! Yeah. 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 Don't let the label label you, Jolly J, and the whole staff and all that shit. This is Don't Flop, Don't Flop all fucking day. You know the score. Hashtag DFAFD. Make sure you tweet us on the Twitter. Follow us on the Facebook as well. Facebook.com slash Don't Flop. You know the score. All right. This is the first English speaking main event of the evening. MC on my right hand side, all the way from Northwest England, Liverpool City. Make some fucking noise for innuendo. Let's go. Shout out, man. I brought you to my novice audience. She still said she wanted more. And on the left hand side, he's travelled to England from Germany to battle for us numerous times. The president and founder of Don't Let the Label Label You Battles made some fucking noise for Jolly J! And ten, four years later, finally got the home game. All right, all right, this is another promo battle, so make sure you leave all your comments and feedback and opinions on the YouTube video and on the forum as well. Innuendo won the flip and he chose to go first. It was round number one. Don't flop Berlin on my dude Innuendo. He's ready to make some fucking noise, man. Yeah. 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 Now, I've been chilling outside for like five hours. This looks like an amazing place to rap. But it doesn't take away the fact that somebody spray painted graph on a concentration camp. <laughs> <laughs> Guten Abend! <laughs> My name is Innuendo. Liebe ich in Liverpool. Das ist Jolly J. Bist du schwul? Do you like that banter? Nice one, danke. <laughs> This guy's a wanker, and deine Mutter ist eine Schlampe. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, my German accent's not too bloody bad. Cause I've just used another language to tell this fucking fag that his mum's a slag. <laughs> so welcome to World War III. I'm leading the attack. Best believe you'll get a smack. Cause England's full of gay Germans, we need to send them back. See schluck and spam as he leaving den Geschmack. <laughs> Translation, bitch. That means that you love to taste the jizz. Either I'm fucking great at this, or I use the Ice Translate iPhone app to completely take the piss. <laughs> Cause I ain't really got a lot to say about Jolly J. I mean, I could be predictable and say that he's proper gay and takes a cock a day or act all gangster and talk about how I let the chopper spray but to be honest mate, the only thing that I want to say is that without you this summer I wouldn't have got away so thank you for the fucking free holiday <laughs> Yo, see, we've got a violent history Oh no, fuck it, that's not even the next one, is the next one something else Yo, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on Yo, oh fuck See, we've got a violent history. In fact, I can still smell the gunpowder. And when it comes to being British, believe me, there's none prouder. I'm a drunk and abusive Brit abroad and they don't come louder. So on behalf of everyone back home, get your towel off my fucking sun lounger. <laughs> you speedo weird and pedo German. <laughs> you are a half English Jew who lives in Germany. If I was you, I'd be mad nervous. You only moved here to be closer to your dead grandparents. And so you can barbecue your Frank faces, brat faced and hamburgers on an old concentration camp fairness. <laughs> no, I don't like that, do you say? Anyway. <laughs> Get out of this battle. Right. So you best prepare to fall, like the Berlin Wall, or the Jewish population after the First World War. Your mother's a dirty whore. She rocks knickers covered in swash stickers. She's a really short, hairy boar. The bitch takes brat face galore until she hates her jaw while making German porn with the entire male cast of Jersey Shore. <laughs> a German slut called Stephanie Seidel. I've seen a video where she has sex with a beagle. <laughs> and the bitch looks like Jeremy Beadle after one too many heroin needles. Your mother's fat as shit. She's a flabby bitch with saggy tits, a massive clit, and fanny lips that go right back like Branislav Ivanovich at Stamford Bridge. <laughs> See, this week I was supposed to have been in the dam, but that all fell through, so now I'm looking for the nearest German brothel and a trip to the bank. I want to get a German dominatrix to whip off me pants, put me dick in her hand, then give me a spank while me nipples are clamped. I'll even let her do a big dirty shit on me fam. No weird of a lie, this is the plan, because my idea of a German whip got fuck all to do with Meridian Dan. <laughs> Alright, 
Alright, you lads, you lads, Levy, everyone ready for the shit, yeah? After your bock. Check it. He only came to Berlin to see the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> he bought some Lederhosen to feel more local here. Ordered a Heineken to try some local beer. <laughs> so he's trying so hard to not stand out as a fat English person, but that isn't working. As soon as he landed in Berlin, he proudly said, Ich liebe den Berlinen, because he's been practicing German. <laughs> Oh, Michael innuendo. This is such an untypical trip for you, isn't it, dude? Most typical English like you prefer a trip to Ibiza to drink all the booze. Will I make this feel like Ibiza? Yeah, when I beat the shit out of you. Perfect. Got verses like the Berlin Wall. They go down in history. Don't blame my hometown advantage when you look back on your misery. Cause I'll murk you like I murk dudes on their home turf too. You see me smash it in British leagues. Don't flop, apart from Prince Khan, which went a bit wrong. I won all my battles there brilliantly. So I'm known to murk all in England, like my councillor was visiting. Yeah. You'll get that in a minute. Said half English humour, half German efficiency. In this, officially pimping. Best German to kick it in England since Jürgen Klinsmann of Boston. <laughs> Today. It's Jolly J, humour dark enough to make Dr. Dave take off his shades on a sunny day. What the fuck you got to say? Your fans are a bunch of 14-year-olds who wear Beats by Dre but scream, yay, classic Kanye, when they hear a Beat by Dre. <laughs> you made a recent claim that you got signed by your label. Useless. This is don't let the label label you, bitch. But you did let that label label you. And that label didn't do shit. Motherfucker, you flopped. Closest you'll ever get to being on top of the pops is when your dad gives you a piggyback ride and you're on top of your pops. <laughs> They call my battle video a classic, yo. It's hot when it drops. They call your battle video a Casio. It's not a good watch. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're ugly as fuck and your bars aren't that great. You want to go far in the game? Land a chart hit? Okay. That's not something we want to see, though. You remind me of c door Because if you want to see doll, you need a mask on your face. Yeah. You won't get that's a German bar. It's great. I mean, look at him. Bald head like a melon, looking like Wayne Rooney, if he had a much less athletic profession. <laughs> Let's talk about that head for a second. How you love letting out your free hair. <laughs> Who are you kidding? You got about three hair. <laughs> I had to Who are you kidding? You got about three hair. Like Stewie Griffin. True say. You need to pay for a two pay, but hey, at least that chest hair is dense there. Bet you love every strain. I've seen him holler at babes topless today, like I'm from the UK. Not quite James Bond from the face, but check it, me chest got that Sean Connery taste. <laughs> Trust when I say that it's not a big look to have an upper chest which looks like Bigfoot's big foot. So it looks aside. Hey yo, listen up. I didn't dislike innuendo as much when he was still smoking the pot. Don't know why he stopped. He went from pothead to cockhead, from stoner to cunt, like P. Diddy, acting all bad boy when we know that he's not. Ever since he got P, did E, and loved cocaine a lot. Last visit to the toilets, he didn't pee, did he? He was doing coke off the bog. Reason I keep referring to P. Diddy is because I hate him even more since he no longer puff. Whoa. for a couple grand quicker than Russell Brand. Thought you'd live the next life of a fucking champ when you get signed. It's still done and bland. You only get by with your mum and dad. Depressed guy, cause you love to brag. But your sex life is your fucking hand. And your ex-wife is your other hand. I don't understand. Oh! How are you such a horrid cunt like Donald Trump and proper dumb like Forrest Gump? Now you gotta run. You know what I'm saying? I'm so gangster, I don't need no fucking gun to stick a long nose in your face. <laughs> and then blow you away, time. I used to think that he's a decent guy. He's right, I have got a problem with cocaine. I'll sniff beak until I die, but I admit it so you can't mention it. Treaty of Versailles. Oh, that was good. Oh. Yo, yo, and he 
said that I'm bald, don't worry, I'm well aware, but I've actually got a full head of hair, except for there and the rest of there. <laughs> no, I fucking, you try saying that I'm bald, it's like, I care, you're German, you're not allowed to say mine hair. <laughs> no. And do you know what rhymes with Holocaust? Lost two wars. <laughs> I bet you watched Saving Private Ryan and stayed up all night crying. <laughs> After wasting three hours praying, Matt Damon ends up dying. <laughs> Speaking of films, Schindler's List. Now that took ages to get it popping. I turned it off after two hours. I mean, how long does it take to get you shopping? So let's talk about the World Cup. Now the RGs held Germany back till the death. Then Gator led you to victory with the last gasp of 10. But that just proves that your country can't act for itself because Gator's first name is Mario. Trust the Germans to need an Italian's help. <laughs> and since other European countries have amassed a big debt, Germany's now spreading its cash to pass on the wealth. So it's safe to say that even though Adolf is dead and the Nazis have left, Hitler's dream of global domination is fully back in effect. <laughs> but if Hitler was here today, I'd be thanking him like Danke. Cause blonde hair, blue eyes, that's exactly what I'm after. <laughs> you think the Germans are more racist than the English? Therefore not, nah lad. Tell you what, there's no fucking black or yellow in our flag. Yo. It is laughing, that's all good. Yo, so I'm trying to find what lays beneath the surface of Jamie Seidel Curtis. Mm. It seems we're all about promoting local hip-hop and raising the awareness. Now we may be feeling nervous, cause booking me to battle here straight defeats the papers when I came to remove this shit stain like an anal bleaching service. Woo! You had beef with one of my boys? The fuck's this German thinking? I don't let shit slide, I leave him face down on the ground like Jürgen Klinsmann. Mm. You get your whole crew demolished, use a gunner. Man, my bars, Frank Reichardt, I'll spit at this German, no Rudy Volley. Yeah. This shit's about to be a disaster. You're going up against a known veteran. So do the math, you'll get a serious dose of your own medicine. Yeah. Cause I'm a soldier, I could be in the Luftwaffe. I'll put you in a coma like you're skiing with Schumacher. Mm. Crowds love the sausage like... So I'm a soldier, I could be in the Luftwaffe. I put you in a coma like you're skiing with Schumacher. Crowds love the sausage like Greeks and the Moussaka. And going down on your beard was like speaking to Chewbacca. <laughs> See, when I slide up inside bitches, I give them nine inches. Johnny J gives them nine inches. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even know why the fuck Jay's so jolly. He's an half English Jewish German who looks like a plain clothes Bobby with a six inch nose and an eight stone body. <laughs> Talking about my hair, lad, your hair be pure curly. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, it's fucking gone wild, lad. You definitely ate your crust as a child. Your head looks like a fucking portion of curly fries. Judging by your hair and your nose, you're circumcised. <laughs> now, now I know that this sort of half ass writing won't exactly win me a turn of prize, but if you beat me today, I'll be bare surprised. You're gonna see me looking like this. Hazel's eyes. <laughs> Yo, and I don't even try in battles anymore. Everyone knows that I'm wank. You can fear a clash, then go into hiding alone and get right in like I'm Frank. Mm. Yo, and I stay strapped sun up to sundown, so you don't want to hear them guns blow. Because when them twin Lugas come out, there'll be two dots on you like an umlaut. Yeah. Okay, listen up. Put your hands up if you got innuendo on Facebook. <laughs> the rest of you fucking lucky, yeah? Because anyone, anyone who has this dickhead on Facebook knows that he's officially addicted to Facebook. This isn't a joke. I mean, we all use social media for shit we promote, but he publicises every bit of his fucking life as if it's a show. Got my newsfeed flooded with pictures and clips from his phone like, bro, there is a world outside Twitter, you know? Not every thought has to be turned into a quote. Not every world issue can be fixed with a post. But it's like you, but it's like you spend all day sitting at home writing a long status, reflecting on the long status you wrote five minutes ago. Comment on life, you're not living it though. Watch a football game that concentrates so much on your finger and phone that you miss all the goals like, bro, Mike, hello. I said, Michael, yo, you're at a night, a show. Can you please try and go outside your cyber zone? 
Because if a girl came to you right now and said, would you like to bone? You'd reply like, no. Would you happen to have the Wi-Fi code for my iPhone? <laughs> Remember that amazing time, you know, when us and the guys saw that spaceship? Oh sorry, I forgot you missed it, because you were right in a status. You attention craving, desperate prick. Unlike you, I get attention quick, no need to beg for it. Because when I'm stepping in, I'm followed by eyes, like Ali G sentences. Alright? Even seen he likes his own status he writes. Which leads me to believe he dislikes his own status in life. This goes out to all the ladies tonight. I said, make some noise if you're a lady tonight. Yeah! All right, good, 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 good. Now imagine going on a date with this guy. He'll be sitting at the same table. You'll be looking him straight in the eyes. But he'll still communicate with you through Facebook online. As soon as your burger arrives, he'll ask you to wait. Hold the burger straight to the light. Make sure the framing's precise, and then take more pictures than at an alien sighting. Hashtag, with bacon inside it. From the table this <laughs> Taking his time, like five pips from the left, wait, maybe eight from the right. Your food's gone cold by the time he lets you take your first bite. Mike, isn't it true? The only thing you prefer to do than take random pictures of food is take random pictures of you. <laughs> Selfie. <laughs> then, then get so embarrassed and act like it's just a sarcastic thing that you do. No, it's not. I buy that off definition because he says YOLO lots. But you come with cringeworthy drama like a soap opera does. Always showing off, even when you're about to sleep with a bird. I swear, the second she lifts her skirt, he feels that immediate urge to scream freeze. Well, I really need to tweet this shit first. <laughs> take a picture of you and me with no shirt. This seems so absurd, but I know this. He's actually uploaded topless pics of the chicks that he's been with, innit? Well, the problem is they're horrific. You tried to brag a lot, but got the tactics wrong. When your chick's tits look like two Capri Suns. After six sips, so stop pretending. I said stop pretending. You're not a legend. You're not John Lennon. More like the guy who shot John Lennon. Just want attention. Well, I'm sorry to say this, but you won't even slightly be famous. They'll chisel horrible phrases on your gravestone like Mike never made it. Because when your whole life flashes before your eyes, you'll see Facebook. Then you might finally think of the times that you wasted. Kind of like Fritzl's life in a basement, but hey, at least you once had over 200 likes on a status. Congratulations, time. <laughs> Proud of 200, try 77,000. <laughs> now, originally, I wanted to do this third round over the beat, but Jay wouldn't have it. You know why? Because he's a fucking faggot. He tried to tell me that the German hip hop scene isn't evolved enough for a battle over beats at a rap event. Now, you're all German hip hop fans, I guess, so you tell me, does that make sense? Yes. I mean, we could have had a DJ on the decks to do the beats. Two MCs, that's you and me. What the fuck would be more hip hop than that? Than that? So I'll break his neck and spray his blood on the wall to show all five elements and the knowledge you lack. And when you drop on a track, you rap faster than the beat you're supposed to be spitting to. I listened to his music and was like, fucking hell. Sounds like there's an actual Natty in the booth with you shouting, Schnell, Schnell, Schnell. Like, my name's Jolly J, I've never been in the streets. That's why I rap like a politician delivering a speech. <laughs> I can't stand you middle class rappers, little backpackers, back pocket swinging bandanas with your cap backwards. Think you're gangbangers, guns blazing and blunt bayonets. No fan, try and go ham, I'll be nicking that sandwich. I said I've had it with these little faggots, rappers who be living lavish. Living in a palace in the middle of a civil parish I'm about in the city madness and shitty manners And I ain't a little bit embarrassed that I ain't never been to Paris You travel back and forth to London like it's nothing The hunger ain't forgotten, I made something out of nothing So I kidnap a rich rapper, see his bitch grab her like quick stabber with big daggers So quit that chit chatter or swing bricks Shatter your teeth, get hit with a pig's bladder And leave your lips fatter than Mick Jaggers <laughs> You were raised on a family estate. Now I'm not saying that we were dead poor, but growing up the only estate my family had was my dad's five door Ford Escort. <laughs> Is that not where it goes there? Not really. Yeah. <laughs> now with this last scheme I might have to be careful, but fuck the Chancellor Angela Merkel, the bitch chats more propaganda than Gables. <laughs> 
looks like a high-end escort. A bit of class, but still a brass who stashes caps in the stash of uh, stashes caps. St uh, she looks like a high-end escort. A bit of class, but still a brass who stashes cash in the straps of a girdle. If I ordered a prostitute in Liverpool and then the slag was dressed like that, I'd have sent her back, no agger and skirtle. <laughs> You're in the first stage of evolution, Charmander and Squirtle. My words are historic and frank and a journal. Nothing you could say to me is actually hateful. I got a hard exterior like the back of a turtle. So I'll be up front, you couldn't get close to me, your midfield like Mario Goethe, Schweinsteiger, Muller, Draxia, Azel, Podolsky, Cruz, Sammy, Kadera and Andre Scherler. Yeah. Hey, let, let's not forget Kramer, even though he's only got five caps, he's still German. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so to sum it all, your mum's a whore, the Germans play good football, but fuck you all, because we won the war <laughs> twice. Rule Britannia, Britannia rules the waves. <laughs> Jolly J's mum's a slag. <laughs> Listen, you said you wanted to do a battle to a beat. I'm sorry, I thought you wanted to do a battle and get beat. I apologise if that's not what you mean. Well, listen up. See, your bars seem a little bit simple to me. Mine stay tricky, like evenly split in a twix between three. Your Germany jokes aren't original. Please, I'm half English, that means you're only dissing all of them. The person you're meant to be dissing is me. Besides, going on about the Third Reich or Hitler is weak, especially when you're about two inches or three away from looking like a skinhead, you freak. <laughs> and, you're, and you're from Liverpool, G, which means you're mainly known for robbing women. So people, be aware if your pockets got a wallet in them, because he only came to take that, then be the first to leave, like Robbie Williams. <laughs> Get that shit? Yes. Third round, I still haven't mentioned his biggest hobby. It's fishing. True story. I'm not even kidding. He constantly writes about it online like it's the fucking Olympics. Well, Mike, you must be considering that when you start every conversation with, my hobby is fishing, you may as well replace that with, I'm not very thrilling. <laughs> see, see fishing's, not, fishing's not relaxing to him. It's action to him. A passion to him. He's in the zone. Even at home when he's having a shit, he'll hold the toilet brush up with both hands on the grip and sit for hours like this. Because he claims it's great practice for catching a fish. <laughs> Bitch, I promise you this. Every time you show off to your chick like this because you've got a big fish, all it does is remind her of me because she got my dick pit. Blood on pimping. I'll tap her. I'll tap her ass while you catch a carp. I'll find a nympho while you're finding Nemo. I'll hook up. I'll hook up with a bird while you stick a hook up in a worm. And I'll now nah, fuck that. Let's talk about. Let's talk about how you rap again. See, you're not too flashy. You're not too arrogant. You're not too standard. You're not too average when you're just too. Well, that's it. Just two. Out of ten. <laughs> totally weak, bro. That's totally weak, bro. Only time you can even hold a kilo is when you open a midget store. I need to hold a kilo. See, we... <laughs> see, see, we own a rating system in these battles, Michael, Angelo. No, Sistine Chapel. After 16 battles, I don't look up to your art. You haven't got any clubs. I need no mum jokes. Nah, I strictly mention your mother in bars. Like when it comes to a cunt or an ass, you can call me Snickers. I put the nut in your Mars. <laughs> I'll be honest, Nick. She told me she weren't loving it. But I treated that criticism like she did a bit of jism. I took it on the chin and swallowed it. What do you think? Man, it's jolly. I rock on and it's so tense. You can't rock on, you're a folk wreck. But I rock on and it's so fresh. Believe me, kid, even if my CD skips, I still rock on, rock on, rock on, rock on, rock like the Stonehenge. No sweats, man, it's jolly. Make you practice volleys with a hand grenade. Think you can handle Jade and you got another thing coming like Sasha Gray. I use my right hand to smash your face, left hand to finger tap your babe. Do she slightly spazzing like an average Brian Damage reaction? Hey, I'm back, it's Jay. Visit you in Liverpool. Pool, turn that shit into San Tropez. I got swag for days. Congrats. Swag. You have lost a bit of flat around your waist, but hey, you're still fat in the face. <laughs> and I know you love bragging, but I won't have it today. So if we start to see you getting carried away, I'll call an ambulance, mate. And we can literally start to see you getting carried away. And on top of all that, your fucking accent is gay. 
I'm from London, bruv. That's the south of UK. You may as well be from Scotland, cause they can't understand what you say. <laughs> and this love, you know what I actually hate? How he always goes on and on about how much he loves going out. But when he posts his legendary Saturday night videos, there's no honeys about. No music pumping, no cuties jumping, no clubbing, no crowds. It's always just you and Sprungy, drunk on a couch. Well I, well, I wish you travelled overseas with Sprungy. Because when you two form a team, at least he is funny. Now I'll do everyone a favour, make you flee this country. Which is the only time you'll be feeling like the Beatles, buddy. Going back to Liverpool saying help. I need somebody. <laughs> No, just his best friend Sprungy. Time. Yeah. Yeah. You were one of the original Don't Flock crew. You were there putting in legwork. Well, you failed where Lesser MC succeeded because they knew how to network. But you know what I know that you're going to get saved? Because O'Shea's just had a baby with your fucking ex-babe. Oh. <laughs>